the freak, the grind, the bump, the pump, the shake that rump, <laughs> like the whole nine yards. What's up, biscuit heads? It's your boy Get It G back at it again with another video. As you can probably already tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys some freshman tips on how to survive your freshman year. The good, the bad, the nasty. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into the video. So my first word of advice to any freshman coming to high school is to watch out for the upperclassmen. Now, I'm not saying that you can't be friends with them. I'm not saying that you can't cut up with them. I'm not saying that you can't even chop it up, get something to eat, get a little milkshake, go to Sonic, get you a little mozzarella stick or whatever. What I'm saying is watch, watch them. I'm going to start this off with the story. Okay, so my freshman year, there's this girl who automatically got involved with a whole bunch of upperclassmen boys. And you already know what they was doing. They was doing the bumping and grinding, the nasty, the freak, the grind, the bump, the pump, the shake their arm. <laughs> like the whole nine yards and we all knew about it because her boyfriend who was in upper classroom would tell everybody and she just be sitting there looking stupid because I mean she was doing it but like it's not like she could deny it so you know so what I want to say is keep keep a better eye out on those upper classes because you don't always know what their motives are and they will try to speak with you they will try to do anything with you they will try to you're fresh meat to them basically you're fresh meat to everybody so what I'm saying is be smart, pay attention, and just watch. My second word of advice to any incoming freshman going into high school, don't worry about being all booed up. Just cause your homegirl got a boyfriend, your homeboy got a girlfriend, that don't mean you need name. That don't mean you need name. If they wanna go on and, and deal with this boy, deal with this girl, let them go ahead and do what they wanna do. That don't mean you gotta be just like them. That don't mean do what's best for you. Cause at the end of the day, you didn't come to school to be all booed up. You came to school to get your education and to get the hell out of Dodge, okay? You didn't come to be all booed up with nobody. So at the end of the day, school needs to come first. You can do all, you can be booed up, but be booed up outside the school, outside the schoolhouse, okay? You can be booed up, just be booed up, booed up somewhere else. You ain't gotta be at the schoolhouse doing that, okay? The schoolhouse is to learn is to learn, to learn. And also, just a little, a, little, a little tip, a little tip. If you are dating somebody, please keep that dating between you and specifically with you and your partner or your whoever. Don't be up in a damn hallway because at the end of the day, that's y'all's business and we don't wanna know. Now, what y'all do behind closed doors, that's your business. I don't care what you do. But as for bringing that stuff to school, hurting on each other, being all up on each other, leave some space between Jesus. Don't do that in front of everybody else. At the end of the day, you doing that in front of everybody else, that means you want everybody to know about it, everybody to see it, everybody to talk about it. If you're doing it in front of everybody, that's what, that's what it is. My third word of advice to any freshman that's coming into high school is to mind your business. I'm gonna start this off with the story too. Okay, so my freshman year, there were a lot of fights going on in my school. Like, I stayed trying to look for a fight. I would miss class for a fight. I wouldn't miss class all the way. But like, I might be a little late to the class and just tell them that a fight had happened. You know how, y'all know how I go. But like, I would look for the fights. I, if anybody, if I felt tension in the air, I would be like, who for the fight? Like, who for the fight? Where did we at? What time? Like, that's just how it was. And you know, we only got five minutes between classes, so, you know, I guess I'm just gonna be late. But like, I used to love to chase them fights. I used to be getting them too. I used to be recording my video. I got in trouble for recording one fight, and but I ain't getting too much trouble. But like, mind your business. Don't worry about what every little thing that goes on in school, because at the end of the day, if it doesn't have anything to do with you, don't worry about it, okay? We're not even gonna worry about it. If it doesn't have anything to do with your schoolwork, don't worry about it. If you hear about some drama that's going on between so and so and so and so, don't. Don't even try to get all up in there because that's none of your damn business. Just go on, just go on to your class. If somebody, if somebody finna fight, there'll be a video. If somebody fall out with each other, you'll hear about it. You ain't missing nothing for real, sis, bro, biscuit head. You ain't missing nothing for real, for real. This is high school. There'll be plenty of other times to watch somebody fight, to watch somebody argue, to watch somebody diss somebody, to watch somebody throw some shade at somebody. Plenty of time, so just mind your business. My fourth word of advice for a freshman that's coming into high school is to find a teacher that you like and be their best freaking friend. Now, I'm gonna start this off with a story too. I just like stories for some reason, like I just love the stories. So in 10th grade, 
I had I had these two teachers, and I'm still friends with them to this day. Like, if I was having trouble with them in any of their classes, they'd automatically help me. And, uh, and uh, let me tell you this, it also helps to not give the teacher a hard time, but I'm gonna get into that other topic in a minute, okay? Just watch. But like, be best friends with the teacher. F what anybody has to say about you being a teacher's pet, because at the end of the day, it is your grade, it is your responsibility to make sure your grade is taken care of. It's your responsibility to get them A's, to get up out of that, make that big whoop, make that big whoop. Be best friends with your teacher. Like, treat them with respect, get, make them laugh every once in a while. <laughs> Just anything, just be friends with the teacher. Cause at the end of the day, the teacher's gonna be your best friend, your main help. You do not wanna piss off the teacher. I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know that now. You don't wanna piss off no daggum teacher cause it's not gonna work out for you. It's not gonna work out for you. But yeah, I had these two teachers, love them to death, still love them to death. Both of them are my main biscuit heads. Like we still rocking, been rocking since August of 2016. It is currently September 1st, 2019. We've been rocking and we talk, we got, we text and everything. And I'm in college now. So, I mean, it's whatever, like, a good relationship goes a long way. When you're going somewhere, you have those teachers that want to watch you go somewhere that are actually here to support you and not bring you down. That's like the best feeling ever. So like, if you want that feeling, find you some two teachers. Now I'm not saying to, to kiss their ass and everything. That's not what I'm, just, we just get along very well. Like the two teachers that I love to death, that's, that I still love to death, like we just get along well. We cut up, I mean, that's just what it is. We just get along really well. I'm not really the type that's, gonna make it hard on the teacher because I mean shoot the teachers are people too I'm just gonna be honest the teachers are people too it's true so be best friends with your teachers ah. my fifth word of advice to an incoming freshman is if you lose friends don't worry about it you'll be all right you'll make some more it's Gucci I mean like Going into high school, and I hear everybody say, and a lot of times it's true, you will find out who, uh, where your real friend's gonna be at, who your real friend's gonna be, who they're gonna be going into high school. Because a lot of your friends, you may have like, be the life of the party, hey, hey, got a million friends, got a big friend group, friend circle, whatever you wanna call it, in middle school. Then when you cross that threshold over into high school, you gonna find out who the real one's gonna be. A lot of them gonna turn fake. A lot of them not gonna like you no more. A lot of them gonna have built up aggression against you that you never even knew about. So, at the end of the day, if you lose some friends, don't worry about it, you'll make some more. Cause at the end of the day, you need to worry about what is best for you in high school. You'll, there will be friends. Like, when I was in ninth grade, I was friends with this group of friends, but like, I kind of felt like I was like the odd one out, you know, so to speak, because it's like, I'm not really relating to everybody. And so in ninth grade, I was still with that same group of friends, and it's just like, it got tiring. It's like, you gotta like, you know, keep a conversation going, that type of thing, and it's just like, I ain't trying to be, I ain't trying to be with that no more. So in 10th grade, at that point, I was like, I'm not even gonna find any friends. But in 10th grade, like 10th grade, my sophomore year was like the best year of my freaking high school experience because I made like a bunch of new friends. Like we still talk, cut up, and like it's the best thing ever to say you have like a real set of friends that are down for you, that are here to cut up with you, that can support you. Like that is the best feeling in the world. So like I said before, if you don't make, if you don't have the friends that you had before, don't worry about it because you'll find some more. Point blank and the period. My sixth word of advice to an incoming freshman is to don't let anybody punk you. Stand up for yourself. I don't care. I don't care. All right, there's a dog barking. A lot of times people just try to perceive you as weak when you're really not weak. So maybe, so if they, if they try to mess with you, you know what you need to do? You just need to just go crazy one time. Go crazy one time, they'll leave you alone. They won't say nothing else to you. But if you're one of those that keep taking stuff and taking stuff and taking stuff and taking stuff, they're gonna, you're going to be a prime target on who is gonna mess with you, who's gonna pick on you, and all this and that and the other. Now, me, I don't really have any that, anybody that really messes with me for real, because I mean, I'm big, like, I'm just big, like, I'm six foot two, 200 and some pounds, I'm just big. Ain't nobody gonna just run up on me and say, square up, nigga. Square up, nigga. Square up, nigga. Wait. Ain't nobody finna do that. Cause I mean, they know they get beat the fuck up. <laughs> My seventh word of wisdom to any incoming freshman that's coming into high school is this. If you're not there to learn, take your ass home. 
Period. There are people, there are other students. Well, let's just keep this clear. Let's just, let's just make this very clear. The world does not revolve around you. It doesn't. So you have to take into consideration of other students also trying to get their education. You cannot hold the other students back from getting their education just because you want to cut up and goof off in class. That's not fair. That's awful. That's disrespectful. And oh my God, get your damn dog. I'm sorry. This my I'm in the apartment and these these neighbors they don't hold back your peers because that's not fair to them and it's not fair to you whether you care about it or not. It's not fair to you either because we're all here trying to get somewhere in life. So if you don't want to get anywhere in life, you just want to sit around all in class all day and play with your eyelids and play with your thumbs and. And, and be on y'all phone and just take your ass home. It makes it a lot easier for the teachers, the students, and you, you know? Okay, like there was like this, I was in my sophomore year, I had this, it was in math class. And like, it was like 35 of us in there. And my teacher, she was crazy for one thing. She had to stop the whole class because some of these kids was, stole somebody's brownie. Like there was, we had to stop class over a brownie. Brownies for my brownie, yeah. I made it for myself. Like, we had to stop class over a brownie. And I stopped, and I had already had like a D in the class. And I was just like, you know what? Fuck it, I just, I guess I'm not, I'm just, I am guess I'm just gonna have to fail this, this nine weeks because we had to stop class over a damn brownie. What has the world come to? We gotta stop class over a damn brownie. Like, this is, it's fucked up, it's fucked up. But yeah, don't be the reason why Everybody else has to fail and be distracted because you don't want to act right. My eighth word of wisdom to an incoming freshman is to leave the teacher alone. Don't argue with the teacher. I know a lot of teachers are crazy. A lot of the teachers that I had were actually crazy. Like they had issues, boyfriend problems, domestic abuse, like ooh, they had issues. Harper's Bazaar, covering the icon, issues, issues. Bunch of issues, issues. So if the teacher tells you to put your phone up, put your phone up. Don't argue, just put it up, just put it up. If the teacher tells you to put the gum, put the candy up, put it up, don't worry about it. It's not worth arguing about. Cause at the end of the day, you're in there for what? 50, 50 minutes to an hour. And you really wanna go to the office, get in trouble, get suspended and expelled over something that could have easily been avoided as simply as spitting your gum out. You, you're stupid now. At this at this point in time, you're stupid. So at the end of the day, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say this too. Get out the teacher's faces. A lot of times when I was in high school, I used to see these. Now, I'm, now, I might sound a little controversial for what I'm about to say about how be a teacher's best friend. There's a difference between being a teacher's best friend and, and just doing too much. Like being all up in their face, trying to be all in the, be all up in their business. I'm, by being best friend, I'm talking about being best friends in school, getting your school work done. Play nice to get your school, play nice to get them grades, play nice to get them A pluses. Don't try to be be all up in your teacher's business. You got a boyfriend, what's his name? He gonna come to the school? Like, mm, don't worry about all that. Do not worry about all that. That is none of your business. This also leads back into me saying, mind your own business, because that has nothing to do with you anyway. You're there to learn, not to be all up in somebody's business. Yeah, always try to respect your teacher because the teachers are people too and they got issues too. Who doesn't? We're all human. Like, just take it easy on your teacher. Now, a lot of times, I like, will say, if you got them teachers that just try to get rah-rah with you for no reason, that want to get loud with you, want to fail you for no reason, want to do this, do that, you can go talk to your counselor, go talk to your principal, go, go tell somebody to get you switched over to another class. Because at the end of the day, you're not helping yourself and you're not helping the teacher. You, you're trying to get the grade for you. You're trying to get the grade for you. Not for anybody else, not the teacher, but for you. So if it's not working out in this class, try to get your class switched over to help make anything, everything easier for you. Just do that. Simple. Simple. My ninth ugh, word of wisdom to an incoming freshman is to hang around people that will make you a better person. And what that means is 
hang around people that are gonna lift you up, that are going to support you, that are gonna want you to, that are going to want to see you achieve your goals. Hang around people that are gonna give you life. Hang around people that you love. Hang around people that make you an all overall better person. Don't hang around with the ones that wanna smoke wood all day and go steal, go rob, go steal, stab, kill up in the streets, up in the jailhouse. Don't. Don't even get involved with that. Don't and, if, and when it comes to these girls, don't get involved with the girls that want to fight all the time. Don't get involved with the girls that's trying to that's, that's having sex all the time, getting pregnant and all that. Don't worry about all them. You need to worry about you. Okay, you need to worry about you. Hang around people that are going somewhere in life. Hang around people that can that you can just let leash onto. You know, and that are like gonna give you insight and inspiration in life. Don't hang around the people that go, that you know aren't going anywhere in life. Don't hang around the people that aren't gonna be doing anything with their life. Because at the end of the day, do you want to? Are you trying to do anything with your life? Now, I will say, if you don't want to do nothing with your life, hang out with the bad friends. Go, go gang bang, go gang bang, Ooh, go do all that. Just go do all that. Go rob, stab, kill, do whatever you need to do. But at the end of the day, if that, if you don't want to do that. Hang around people that are gonna lift you up. They're gonna take you somewhere. That can give you like an insight, that can get your head screwed on straight. Okay. <laughs> My 10th word of wisdom to an incoming freshman coming into high school, have fun, turn the duck up. Wait, period, period. Turn up, have fun, high school, you got four years, it's gonna fly by. I know everybody always says it, but at the end, of, but it's true, because it just seems like yesterday I was walking right into my ninth grade year, already effing up, and now I'm on my second week of college, and whew, it's not as bad as it seems, but like, it is different, it's different. Turn up, you guys, have fun, drive a boat, eat your vegetables, live a little, do whatever you need to do, have fun, go to all the pet rallies, go to all the games, support your school, get involved, be a cheerleader, be the mascot, get involved with cooking, do whatever you need to do that makes your time at high school useful, well spent, and fun. That's all I can tell you, I don't. Cause my ninth grade year, I was like, who would I compare myself to? I was like Lucy off of the Loud House. I was the one that was like, so angry. I wasn't angry, but I was just like, ugh, why am I here? Ugh, that pet rally sucks. Ooh, her wig is nappy. Like, I was that. I was that one. And like, that's not who you want to be. I'm just gonna be honest. I was going through some stuff in ninth grade, but I got, and, and 10th grade, but like, I was getting better. I was getting better. Throughout 10th grade, when I started finding friends and branching out and finding teachers that I liked and everything, it got really good. My 11th grade and 12th grade year, well, most of my 11th grade year, because my, my football team sucked when I was a senior. But um, my 11th grade year, I was actually the cheerleading manager. And that was really fun and interesting. And one reason why I did it is because, well, one, I like to cut up and whatever. And two, you get in the games free. And three, it's an interesting group of girls. They're like, they are a freaking mess. Like, they got so many problems. But like, it's interesting to be around all of them. And then three, I love the coach. The coach was also one of my favorite teachers and like, Ugh, we did so much cutting up, like, it was ridiculous. I'm so serious. But yeah, you guys, get involved, have fun. I mean, do it, do what you need to do. Just do what you need to do, what you need to, do to make high school fun and memorable. Oh, all righty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And let me know what else, what other videos you guys want to see. Let me know if you need, if I need to make any more advice videos. Give me certain situations where I can help you out because I'm here to do that. I'm also here to make you cut up too. This channel is developing, it is growing, and it's gonna be all that when I get good and going, okay? I just gotta just get good and going. Like I said, I'm going into college and ooh, it's just a mess. But thanks guys, thanks for watching and you know, I'll see you in my next video.